First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Happy to tell you, and we haven't been able to say this a lot tonight, no severe thunderstorm warnings, no severe thunderstorm watches. Things are thinking about winding down here, but still we have some action in northern New York, right around Plattsburgh. You could follow this up to places like Alberg. We're over North Hero. We've got some rain coming down as well. Want to track this part of the storm right here. Now we did have a warning on this storm a little bit earlier, but it slowed down in terms of how quickly it's moving. It was going at some 60 miles an hour. Not quite there, but still in the 50s. So if you are in the line of fire here, uh, it's going to get gusty in your yard, no doubt about it. Fairfield, about four minutes out, something like that. East Enosburg, roughly a dozen minutes. Bakersfield, 15. You could continue with the list right here if you'd like to. If this thing does stay together, this is the track it will continue to take. So we'll widen out a whole bunch and let you know upstream where the weather is coming from. Not much going on. Maybe the odd rain shower here and there. We could see a quick shower first thing tomorrow morning. Bottom line, cold front goes through, finally dragging this out of here and the brutal air that was out there today. It's going to be much more comfortable and the weekend is looking terrific. Hey, speaking of the brutal air, did you see the high temperatures today? Many of us in the 80s, a lot of us in the 90s, like 91 St. Johnsbury, 93 degrees in Keene. We saw 93 in Plattsburgh and also in Burlington. As a matter of fact, this is pretty impressive. We tied the May record high temperature today. In other words, this is the warmest on record it's ever been. It's happened twice. Last time was in 1977. We did it again today. Of course, we broke the daily record as well. All right, current temperatures. We're in the 70s in a lot of places, but we're finding some 60s as well. It is 63 degrees in Morrisville, Waitsfield right now at 69 degrees. We'll widen out and still more 70s on the weather map. It's pretty toasty out there, but the cooler air will start to filter on in late tonight into the beginning of tomorrow from the northwest on down to the south and east. So future cast. Here's what to expect. Looking ahead, 2 o'clock in the morning, certainly not much going on. Maybe the odd shower. That's about it. Now, I think we'll find some clouds around, especially north of Route 4, say. First thing tomorrow morning, this is 7 o'clock, could be a rain shower in there. The trend is for the clouds to give way to increasing sunshine. Early highs, I think mid-60s, something like that in the Champlain Valley. Temperatures may dip a little bit and then come back, but we are going to spend the day in the 60s. Take you through tomorrow night. And into Saturday we go. Saturday, everybody, is going to be a really nice day. We're in the 60s. We're going to see a ton of sunshine. That night we look good. Sunday is going to be good, too. A little bit warmer. I do think we're going to find a few more clouds around by later on Sunday. Looks like it's going to be dry until that night, but we'll continue to watch that for you. A few showers, even a thunderstorm still possible tonight. 65 for a low, which is tomorrow's high in Burlington because the temperatures are going to be falling. Morning clouds, maybe a shower, more sunshine by a little bit later in the day. I think everybody finding temperatures drop at least some. Five day forecast, 65 tomorrow with that AM shower. Some afternoon sun, Saturday night, 63. 69 on Sunday, few more clouds in the afternoon. Rains that night, we've got showers on Monday. Then the chance for showers on Tuesday into Wednesday around 70 degrees and showers Thursday with a high of 66.